Hello and welcome to my next vlog. We are going to be making chicken. And I got a really good deal on chicken thighs. So we're gonna be working with those and some garlic and some of these little pearly onions. This is gonna be a super simple dish that you can make, I would say in about an hour in the oven. So let's get started. Okay, now that we're back here with the glass pan that I'm choosing to use, and I also took off my rings in preparation for this because I'm gonna be working with raw chicken. And whenever you're going to be working with stuff you really don't wanna get in your rings, you might wanna consider that. I might actually take off my Fitbit too. Not that I'm planning to get wrist deep in chicken. I just figure I'm a sloppy cook, so might get it all over that too. Anyway, first thing you're gonna need to do is to grease the pan. And I'm choosing to use butter for this because I'm choosing to use butter underneath all of the skins of the chicken that I'm using. So a simple way to grease pan is to use the end of the stick, use it kind of like a crayon and color the bottom with the butter. I mean, this butter's not the softest. It's been in the fridge this entire time. So that helps with the drawing. Cover the bottom of your pan. This might be a fun part for the kids. Otherwise, if you choose to use the spray, that's simply easier. But not all sprays are necessarily keto friendly. So, in keeping to that, I used a butter stick. Then the next step, I'm going to go through each one of these and tuck each one of these chicken thighs and tuck the butter underneath the skin of the chicken thigh so when it cooks up, it comes out nice and crispy. One thing I just did to make this easier is I softened my butter. I was always taught by my mom to go 10 seconds at a time. That way you can kind of monitor how soft it's getting. So let's start with our first chicken thigh. Now if you look at it, you need to find a way to get underneath the skin so that you can Stuff that little pocket in there. I don't know if you can see it well enough on here, but stuff that little pocket with the butter. So, and I'm just using a regular old teaspoon to get some of the butter in there. I'm gonna use my fingers kind of to spread it around and don't get me wrong, this is the messy part. So, spread the butter in there, push it around, and voila, we're done with one stuffing. And of course, you can leave this in the pan now. Okay, and then the next one, find a nice pocket. This one's much more separated, which helps. And then get a, ooh, a little bit more butter. Keep it in there, kind of smush it around. And there we go, there's number two. It actually gets easier the more you go, so I'm going to speed this up. Okay. Now that we are done with this step, try to evenly space them out. And before we wash our hands, 
we're going to also spread the butter on top. You can do this with a spoon, a little bit with fingers, however helps or floats your boat. This is why it's important to wash your hands before you start cooking. Okay, good enough. Okay, after you thoroughly wash your hands, this is our next step. We're going to be covering the tops of these with some spices. We're not going to be rubbing them in. We're just going to be simply sprinkling over the top. Um, I'm not going to add in a ton of spices, but just enough because we're going to, again, still be cooking some other stuff. So I'm going to go with a few generous pinches of salt. Looks like about two works well enough here. And I'm using that pink Himalayan salt. Use what you got. Then I'm going to use two dashes of parsley, parsley flakes, already dried. Okay. And then finally, even though we are going to be including garlic later, I'm just going to add a good two dashes of garlic powder. It might help if I had the garlic powder open. So here I go, one dash. If you're not a garlic lover, you can choose to skip this step, but I'm kind of a more garlic the better type of person. So. Then we are going to put our chicken aside and cut up some garlic and onions. So this week I decided to go fancy and I'm putting down two bowls just because I got these small little pearl onions. So as I clean them a little bit, I'm going to put the bad in here and the good in here. So I will do the same thing because I got fresh garlic also this week for this recipe. As you can see, I'm leaving them basically whole. I'm just cutting away the bad stuff on the outside.
Oh, put a good one in here. Ooh, goes back there. Put the garbage there. You can easily substitute this with onion, um, just regularly chopped, regularly chopped onion. But some may find this easier. Okay, now that I'm all done, rather than make you watch through all that, I decided to come out when everything was all clean. So you can also go back in after you're done cleaning them all and find some of the bigger pieces and cut them in half so that um, you don't have to worry about getting too much of a mouthful of onion. So I would say there's probably two good handfuls in there, maybe close to a cup of onion pieces. So if you are going the bigger onion route and you're going to be cutting it down to um, going to be cutting it down to smaller pieces like dicing a big onion you can go ahead and use a cup of diced onion now we're getting to the messier stuff the garlic you peel it out put it in a cup peel it out Put it in the cup. I'm looking, we're probably going to do 12 to 16 of these. Maybe 16 because we have eight pieces of chicken. So we're going to go with 16 garlic cloves. Good thing about peeling garlic is your hands smell amazing afterwards. One thing to be aware of, I feel that garlic is spicier than onions, so after you peel it, you can go ahead and chop it up into smaller pieces so that when you find it cooked down with the chicken, you won't take it as big of a, big of a bite of it. I know I'm mixing it right in with my onions here. But garlic doesn't bother me much. So if you're not a really big onion person, if you're not really big into raw garlic, again, you can choose to lessen, lessen your onion, lessen your garlic. Also, you can choose to chop up your garlic which I'm going to do with some of it just because I don't need as many big pieces in there. So as you can tell, I chopped up a lot of my garlic into quarters. So between the onions and garlic, leave that out. Between the onions and garlic, that's about how much I have. So we're looking at about a half cup of chopped garlic and like I said there are still some whole pieces but I did chop up quite a few so then our next step is we add those in over the top of the chicken so I'm gonna take this out of the way chicken and then I'm gonna just kind of randomly scatter all of the onions and garlic over the top Okay, 
there's plenty in there to add flavor to our chicken. And then finally, we're putting it in the oven at 400 for 40 minutes. And here's how it looks when it comes out. You can see some of the onion got a little dark and crispy, but so did the tops. Um, why we cook it for so long at 400, so that, that 40 minutes, you can cook it between 35 to 45 minutes, but that's so that we can get these nice and crispy as well. So that's it for our chicken recipe today, and I hope you enjoy it. As always, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on my website, growingfamilyrecipes.com. You can sign up to subscribe so that you can get new recipes each week. And as always, these videos are posted to YouTube. You can also subscribe there. Thank you for watching.